But hey, good morning, everybody. I thought, why don't we do a little bit of a backstage video for you guys to show you what's going on here at the ICF Sub World Championships and how we were keep talking in the webcast on how organized it is and how this and how that. So why don't I give you guys a little bit of a backstage area walk through here for a moment. So where we are first here, this is the staging area for the racers. So they come down from the hotel and then they enter through this gate over there. I'm inside and of course there is security everywhere. They're very, very highly secured area. So the guys are staging here and then we're walking over this little bridge here, guarded by another security. And then here, here is ID control. Okay, you guys see this? So here, every racer is coming through and they're getting their ID checked. Then there's a little pontoon here. That's where they come back after the race. It's very procedural here, everything. Everything is very procedural, guys. So ID morning. control here, good morning. Security everywhere, making sure everything is in order. They have starter numbers here. Oh, look, and then we have a stand-up magazine. These people are reading stand-up magazine. Good job, everybody. And then here, it's kind of like, it's getting like this little alleyway here. You can see they're walking down here, they have the little stands here for their board and that's when uh, their heat is up or the, actually the heat that's in the water that's where they line up they come here get ready announcers are announcing the next heat and then they're walking down this alley here so now we're walking down here and this is where it becomes a little bit more interesting Then out here, you can already see the starting pontoon. This is where they start. And if you watch the live cast, I hope you've seen it. They have the volunteers are lining up here. And then it's really cool. I show you guys. You gotta see this. Another a safe a security morning here. Good morning, everybody. And then they have these pylons here. They have LED lights up front, which is really cool. And then, the, then they come out here. Home. and this is kind of like you're entering the arena through through here and of course there's music imagine now you're an athlete with your board you're walking down here and then this is whoo, this is where the volunteers are we have lanes one through eight starting with one out there and lane number eight on the inside and we were of course discussing the pros and cons on what lane uh, a rider a paddler might prefer and then here you are you line up and this is your arena people and you can see the announcer booth i'll take you guys down there right down there and this is your arena and then we had the sprint race here in those lanes we had a tech race that is going then a little bit further out into the lake but not too far they're doing one lap takes around the hobby guys about six minutes we'll see what the times are today for the faster guys Ready, set, go. so yeah that's it that's where the starting is that's where uh, and when it's athlete time like i can't even get here i wanted to come and take some pictures here once with my media pass and they're like no no you cannot come here so a uh, security is really tight here they're really making sure that every area is protected and only the respective credentials can get in. So let me take you guys now to my little workplace, uh, take you guys down to the commentator booth, all right? And while we're actually walking <clears throat> to the commentator booth, why don't I show you here, there's actually a really nice promenade here. It's really neat with the tree alley here. They have speakers and then what's super cool is and what is being really enjoyed Oh, those little huts over here and most of those huts are actually wine huts so it looks like the Hungarians really like their wine because you can have a little winery uh, wine tastings there's really good food too I had lunch here a couple of times so nice lunch so really neat here uh, you're sitting under the trees enjoying a nice lunch and then on the side here I show you here this is this is the VIP area here 
and sadly another place I can't go in with my credentials. This is the place where you get the free beers and the free drinks. The ones we really like after a hard day's work here and talking and talking, but unfortunately my credentials, I can't get in here, but lucky we have commentator connections. And uh, sometimes we get to go in or we are uh, being handed a beer over the fence. And now, now we are where Mathieu and I have been working the last few days. And I'll show you this, it's really cool. You might uh, have never seen this. So this is our commentator booth here, guys. So we're sitting here on this table and then we're wearing these headsets here. And then you have these controls here. There's always a guest mic here, which is really cool because we had uh, Michael Boothie and Olivia Piano here with us commentating. So you can always invite somebody in as a, a guest commentator. And then there's some buttons here. You can talk to the director, you can take your mic off the air uh, if you have to sneeze real quick or something. And then we're looking at the screen because this is the screen, of course, that you guys are seeing. So we see what you guys are seeing and so we can commentate based off what everybody sees. So this is really cool. Uh, it's also very nice. They put an AC in here because it gets a little hot in here during the day. So we're cranking the ACs and then our Hungarian colleagues they get the second floor or the first floor so to speak i'll take you up here real quick so these guys are upstairs and they're doing the same thing in hungarian so here now you can see the view from up here it's so pretty here so pretty here guys it's it's i'm really really I, i've never aspired to come to hungary or, or never thought i would ever get here but now that i am i am really stoked this lake is so beautiful and it is huge if you want to see the other shore towards the sun, I mean, you can barely see the shoreline across. And then here it's about, I think they say about 14 kilometers across. Now, let me take you over here to where the brain of everything is. The TV production crew, they have a container here and another setup with booth because they also have a beach announcer. And this is also the hub where Kristen Thomas is at with all her operations and with all the there's so many volunteers and referees and guys so this is where they are they're here you guys can see that i don't know if i can go in here but we'll, we'll find out here real quick so there's more monitors there's everything here yeah here comes the security yeah i have uh, sorry see see i told you guys there's very tight security here there's no choking around you can't go you can't go and they're making sure that i've been here for three days and then here is more can i show this to the camera here real quick guys what's going on here look this is the brain this is gobor gobor work inside here i would say we haven't met gobor gobor is a super cool uh, director of everything but look at this here now this is some technology this is no joke this is this is no joke. This is the brains of the operation. They're directing the cameras from here. They have, they have uh, uh, VHFs here. So this is the brain of the operation. And with this being said, we almost walk all the way from the pontoons, from the starting pontoons. We are at the, just at the finish line here. Some, one guy's already training, so we're just at the finish line here. And then why don't I just take you guys also all the way to where the, the medals are. And then we're going to go to the media center. And then you pretty much have seen what's going on here. Maybe I'll turn my camera. But this way I probably have my phone shaded somewhere in my face or who knows where. But at least you can see better. So yeah, what a neat area. And look at the marina here. So we're in this nice marina setting. Classic boat over there some sort of a tour boat. So we're coming up on the flag ceremony, award ceremony, grand stage entrance. And uh, they also have some uh, vendor booth here. So you guys can see still closed, but there is a small area here where some local brands, where some local brands are uh, displaying. Uh, I think Starboard is here, 425 is here. We they, the they have the schedule posted here. And then they have their local heroes posted here, canoe, kayak olympian k1000 meters so paddling paddling over here is huge it's like you're like soccer or football in south america or skiing in switzerland or ice hockey in canada 
that's what their paddling is. That's why they are so organized. That's why there's so many people involved. And these guys are stars. And that's what we're seeing coming out now here. We're seeing all these canoe paddlers. They have arms like I have thighs. They're absolute machines. And they're all about to start to enter the paddle world. And all our usual suspects, our surf dude guys from Australia, Brazil, and uh, Hawaii, California, you name it. You know, the people we've been paddling with for a good 10 years, there is a new demographic coming. And we've seen it with the ladies. We've seen it with the ladies. Oh gosh, do we have, do we have dark horses? But anyways, back to the, um, to the entrance here. So super cool, they made like a little grand entrance. So if you're parking here in the main area and you come in here, you kind of have this gate. See this? So you kind of have a gate here. You're coming in, you got all the flags here from the participating countries. 51 of them, which is uh, quite an impressive number. 51 countries and in some cases even just only one or just two. But they made an effort to come and that is so cool to see how many, how many people are, are coming and how enthusiastic they're about paddling. And not just elite guys, the juniors and the 40 and 50 uh, year and up. Unbelievable and fit these people are. And then here is the grandstand. And of course we have the sun uh, right here, so we can't really see, but again in the shade here, real quick. So see here, grandstand. And then they have flag ceremony also. Very procedural here, guys. This is not, uh, this is like real deal. There is national anthems. There are flags being raised. There are girls that are handing over the medals. Then the vice president or some uh, big wig person from the organization steps forward, hands over a medal. There's even a dress code. There's even a dress code for the guys that are going on and receiving their awards. Not quite sure how that's flying with the surfing community. But um, yeah, it's no joke, guys. There is everything runs by the minute. This is a tight chip and it's all basically in the hands of the Hungarian um, local canoe federation that runs the show here under the guidance with the ICF. So here you have it. And why don't we just take you guys for one last uh, take here to the media center, kind of like my hop, Matthias and my hop, where we go in and out and uh, check in with the guys and make sure everything is in order. So let's go there for a moment. All right, coming up on the media here, it's just the leaf blower goes here. And you can see security very tight here. They have numbers everywhere. Check this. So this is your credential numbers, ICF office and media. So let's take you guys inside here. This is the media center. And they have set up stations for guys who want to come work here. So this is how it looks here. And then we usually go upstairs to the ICF office and believe it or not, there's another security sitting here normally, uh, making sure some people can only go downstairs and some people can only go upstairs. So, and some people can go anywhere. So luckily in here, I can go wherever I want. And then this is how it looks up here. And it looks like we got some guys that are already working. And then we're, oh, we good morning. Hoi Chan is right here behind me. I'm doing a little bit of a walkthrough and showing my viewers the great organization here and how everything is being staged in different areas. And of course we have one key item in this area here and I'm going to show you guys that because that's right over here. Coffee machine. This is a very most essential uh, one here and then guys their pastry here is so good. I was uh, really enjoyed every morning for breakfast the uh, Hungarian pastries. So oh they have a new one here today so um, let's try on this. Is this like a cranberry or is this like a chocolate? Let's find out. Mmm good. Gosh, I wish I hoped I wish this event could go on for days and days so we have more good pastries and coffee and hanging out with all these cool people here. So um, I'm gonna go downstairs because the coffee machine downstairs is even cooler. Let these guy work, guys work because they don't need to listen to my babbling. But yeah, this is how it looks here. Really cool. Really, really cool. Mm, good pastry. I think it's chocolate. Yeah. Oh yeah, they never had this all week long. I think I'm gonna have to hoard some of those and bring them, bring it with me. And before I let you guys go here, I mean, if you have ever seen a mother of all coffee machines, that's the mother of all coffee machines. I sure wonder what a coffee machine like this goes for, but 
When I have millions of viewers like you guys and YouTube is paying me who knows how much a gorgantious amount of money, I will have a coffee machine like this on you guys' behalf. And with that being said, I'm gonna have to get off now, finish my pastry, get a coffee, and then go to the commentator booth and kind of like get familiar with the schedule and see who is coming up and what and probably recharge my phone. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this, please click a like button, subscribe, it really helps out. And it maybe even gets me one of those coffee machines one day. Thank you so much.